Hello commanders and welcome to preparation week video number two. Today we will talk about material farming. And to start I will talk about raw materials and for that we just leave the game for a bit and go to Elite Dangerous Star Map. And to find some good systems for material farming there is a set of materials in particular important for explorers which also covers the raw material arsenic which is needed for FSD increased range modding. So we go to the star map and click on this filter Jamponium rich system and we can see there is one relatively close to the bubble Uh, if it would open up, ah, there we go. Um, yeah, this is a so-called green system, which means it contains all needed materials for jamponium synthesis, which includes arsenic. There is a planet which has 2.1% of arsenic, so you just go to this, that system and do some surface prospecting. I'm not going to do that in the video now, I'm sure you know how that works. So, there is also an alternative to quickly farm raw materials. And that is located here in this system. HIP 16613, to be more precise, on planet 1A. And I'm going to show you what exactly I'm talking about. So I arrived at the planet and basically it's a moon. Planet is that gas giant over there. And now we are going to map it using a detailed surface scanner. Just two probes, that's easy. One on the front and one on the back. So and now we have this signal right here, the bug killer. We're going to land there. See you down there. It's a bit dark at the moment, so I'm just gonna turn on night vision so we can actually see where we are going. And uh, might be a bit difficult finding a good landing spot with an anaconda, but we should be fine. This looks good. It's going to be a long video. Okay, now we go into our SRV. Sure to open your cargo scoop and where is it again? Ah, over there we go. So around here you can see there's a crash anaconda, and there are some. Cargo wrecks lying around. Let's find the first one. And what we are going to do is switch to combat mode and. Why can I not shoot? Yeah. 
There we go. And you can see it dropped Rufinium. Great for raw material. And there are several of these. Lying around. Come on. Come on. Terrarium. Also got some comms links here. You can hear the story of the unfortunate pilot. And also you get data materials here, which is neat. Oh, oops. Where is... yeah. I think it's free cargo racks you can blow up here. And collect those raw materials and also data materials. And you get a nice story to hear. Hey there, listeners. This is Clark Bell. Yeah, and so, so after you've looted everything, you just go back to the main menu. And go back in game again. Whoops. And they've spawned again. Whoops. Huh? Cargo scoop. There we go. Also, don't mind the occasional Fargoid showing up here. Just ignore it. You can even shoot it with your SRV and doesn't care. Just don't be scared. And that's basically what you do. And after you filled up your inventory with those raw materials, you can go to a material trader and trade them for the ones you want. And since they are grade 4, it's the maximum grade for raw materials, uh, it won't be difficult to tra trade it in for all the raw materials you need for your engineering. So, we have covered that one. Be quiet over there, well yeah. Hello. Yeah, yeah, d don't, don't mind him. Just, just don't mind him. So that, that covers ba basically everything for raw materials. And now we will switch over to manufactured materials. And for that, I see you at the next location. Be quiet! So, for... Next section covering manufactured materials, we are going to this planet right here. Hey, this sector DR-VC2-23A5. See you there. Once you've arrived and mapped the planet, you want to target this spot right here, Death's Hope. Now we are going down there. There it is. Small mining outpost. With plenty of space to land any ship.
And again, we are going to RSRV. So, first thing I always do is letting my game lag, no. <laughs> is I go over here. I didn't make game lag. And scan the data point. So you also get data material from that one. Incoming message. But only that one. So, if cargo scoop deployed, you just drive around and pick up all the stuff that's lying around here. And my game lags again. What the fuck is going on? Compound shielding, all different kinds of materials here. Mechanical equipment. Hybrid capacitors, chemical surgery, and crystal shards. What's that? Conductive component? Oh, wait. Configurable components. Conductive ceramics. And. Whoops. Something should be lying here. Ah, there we go. Compound shielding. Already got a lot of those. And final spawn right here. Galvanizing arrows. It's not the only things you can get here after you've done your round. Just go back to main menu. Start up the instance again. Rinse and repeat. You get all different kinds of manufactured grade 1 to grade 4 materials here. It's really nice. And easy as fuck. And you really get a lot of them. Just always scan my data point to also get data access. Uh, data materials. Sorry. And here we go again. Let's see if we can find some focus crystals here. Because you need them for unlocking the frameshift drive booster. You can also find them here. It's a bit random which materials spawn. We've got tables. But it's a lot of different ones. I don't know why my game is lagging like hell now. This one should cover all your basic manufactured material needs. But you don't get any grade 5 ones here. So for that we have to do something completely different. And I will show you that in a moment. So, uh, for grade 5 materials we are going to farm high grade emission signal sources and there's a few things I just want to pack for them. That's a bit of cargo hold and collector limpet controller. When you've outfitted them make sure you go to advanced maintenance, restock and fill up your limpets. That's <laughs> very important. Don't forget that. Okay, okay, capacity. everything is fine now. So, what we do now is we go to the wiki and here we can see the article about high grade emissions and there are different contents in those depending on what kind of system you went to. A federal and imperial systems you've got both quadrinamics, composites or imperial shieldings and I was de 
depend on the system state. For civil unrest, we got improvised components. For civil war systems, we got military grade alloys and military supercapacitors. Outbreak systems will have pharmaceutical isolators. And boom systems will have proto heat radiators, proto light alloys, and proto radiolic alloys. So basically, what you can do is pick what you need from this list. And our exquisite focus crystals aren't on here. You can get those from mission rewards or from blowing up high level combat ships, or big combat ships to be exact, like anacondas and stuff. So we won't cover those here, but you can always trade them afterwards. So uh, what we do now is we go back into game navigation panel and Bing Galaxy map and set our filters for state and we've already marked those who are interesting for us. Actually that's one we need outbreak, not fair mine. Okay, and now we scroll down a bit when we have this population thingy we can adjust to a bit higher populated ones because of those spawn high grade emissions more often and then we just go around look at the system we've got one here it's independent in boom with 1.8 billion of population that's a very high populated one and just go to that system see you there so we've arrived in the system, now we go to our nav beacon. It's right there. Come on. Almost there. Then we target and scan it. Scan complete and now we just go right back into Super Cruise. If the game would let me. Hello. bit hot here. Four, three, two, one, engage. Then we go to our nav panel again, set filters to signal sources, and now we can see all the signal sources in the system. And we've got high grade emissions right there. A timer of 10 minutes, that's not so ideal, we want longer timers, so we have more time to farm them actually. But just to show you how it works, this one will be just fine. See you there. There we are. Still got just short of 8 minutes left. So we drop in and we see some debris, open up cargo scoop and fire our limpets. And just watch them. So what we have here, military grade alloys, perfect, we haven't got both yet. Yeah, right, but it was the first time I collected those. Nice one. So basically, just 
wait until all your limpets have picked up everything lying around here or floating around here. Once we are done, you go back to the main menu again. Start a new instance. Now you are not inside the signal source anymore. You are in free space, but you can go to Super Cruise. And you should see signal source right there. Sometimes when you've got a good spot, they are right in front of you, and sometimes they are just right behind you. So we have to turn around. And it's high grade emissions again. With six minutes on a timer, I saw that for a second here. And you can repeat the process until either your inventory is full. You can have 100 units of each menu, uh, grade 5 manufactured material, or until the timer runs out. That's why I said you want high grade emissions with a long timer, so you can farm more of them. And that's basically how you get grade 5 materials. That only leaves data materials for now. I've already shown you two points where you can get them during collecting the other materials. But there's also another pretty cool method, in my opinion, and I'm going to show you that now. Now back at outfitting, we need to change something here. We don't want collector limpets, but instead dead. We are now going to use where are we? Recon Limpets. And also another adjustment here. We want more heat sinks. Make sure you have a key bind for heat sinks specifically. For me, it's the K key on my keyboard. So, make sure you've got your fire group set. We want our recon limpets and our data link scanner. And now we are going to a system that has mega ships. And fortunately, the system we just came from, Bunda, has two of them. Um, I'm going to check them out. So now we're in the system again, and we go to our navigation panel. There's one, a Mephium class cropper. Uh, there's also one that's closer. If I can find it, is, is there a filter? Some stations, uh, no, doesn't seem so. Where was it again? I've seen another one. Uh, da, 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 da. So cropper? I'm sure I've seen two. What? Ah, there we go, Nefta class tanker. Okay, the cropper is actually closer, so we go to that one first. I don't exactly know which mega ship classes are suitable for what we are going to do. Well, uh, we just have to see and find out for ourselves now. If that one works. There we go. It's our mega ship. I haven't seen this kind before. So, and now we want to 
Data link scan it. So now we've got our information. Power capacitors automated turrets. Blah, 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 blah. Cargo bay escape hatch. Ship log uplink. Let's see if that works. So before we do anything it's considered illegal, we're gonna hit silent running mode. We have to be careful here, we are without shields now. Doesn't have any... Look like this one works. Okay. He hasn't got any of the stuff we need, so we just try the next one. Tanker. Off we go. So uh, yeah, let's check an after class. Tanker. If that also doesn't work, I have to pull up a list. So many power capacitors. One cargo bay. Oh, sorry. Okay. I have to look it up now. <laughs> okay, I've looked it up and found this one. The Cave Johnson Memorial Science Lab. I hope you understand that reference. <laughs> uh, I love it. Um, yeah, it's a science vessel. That should have our data points. Ooh, what is that beluga doing there? Hackable data transport. Oh my god. Finally. Okay. Silent running. When we scan it, now we can go to our sub targets and found a limpet docking port. When we send out our recon limpets. That's also why we need our heat sinks to stay cold. It's hacking the data point now. 
why we are freezing. And there we go. Lots of encoded data. And after you've done with that, you can repeat that by doing a board hop like we did uh, on our previous locations. Yeah, and that's it. Does this have a block up link so I can show you a flight plan? Does. So this one only has one hackable data point. You ideally, you want to find one that has multiple. Uh, whoops. No. Huh? That's my download. Okay. Well, okay, screw you. You can look it up on wiki, just search for mega ships and go for science vessels or agricultural vessels and just try different ones to find one with a hackable data port and there you go. So that was everything I guess. We can go back to Super Cruise for now so we're being left alone. And then I'm going to show you where to find material traders. You can use material traders to trade materials you don't need for materials you do need. And my game just froze. <laughs> Back in super close again. So is there a convenient link to Nara? No, there isn't. So we have to type it in there. So this is Inara. And here we go to Galaxy. And ha ha ha. Where is it again? Systems and stations. And there's a tab nearest. So now pick system where we want to be close to and looking for material traders. And I always use Shumata Desra for it and click on search and then we click on material trader. Now we can see the closest material traders to Shinrata Desra. We've got an encoded one in LFT926, Ara in V886 Centauri or Fong Wang. I prefer Fong Wang because the station is closer. And manufactured one in Timbaderis. So you know where to go. Yeah, and that basically covers everything. Now you're good to go to farm your engineering materials. So, fly safe commanders and see you out there in the black. <laughs>